So here we go. This, this is a quick SAT problem taken from an SAT back in 2019, and it was a real one. So here's the question. Uh, this wasn't the real number. It wasn't the first math SAT question, but this is what happens. If x squared plus y squared equals c and negative xy equals b, which of the following is equal to c plus 2v? It, obviously, this looks like um, a trinomial system of equation, which it is, but like here are your choices and they're meant to confuse you as usual. You see a two here, so you might be inclined to go over and say, okay, well, it has to be this. And since there's a square that's here, but you need a system to figure out which one you're going to choose. And then you have to ask yourself, is it negative X? minus y uh, squared, or is it negative x, or is it x, excuse me, uh, positive x minus y squared, or is it x plus y squared? And if you look at these two, you know that these two are factors of each other that turn something positive or turn this into this. So this is really easily, d is one of your distractors, and it's very easy to get this confused. So, um, don't just go ahead and think through anything. Let's look at this very, very quickly about how we're going to solve. And then if you need to, you can hit stop and hit replay and see what's going on. Or you can also uh, get us at jacobislearning at gmail.com. So anyway, um, let's look at step one. First of all, let's ignore these. And there's already an X through. Here's another one, because if you start trying to solve this now because you see a squared root here and a squared root here, you're going to start confusing yourself. And then you see a negative, which is meant to throw you at one of these at choice A, B or C. But then you have a positive and you already know a negative times a positive is going to give you um, a negative. So you know, you might start eliminating and say, let me take out the positive choice. That may be wise, but we want to make sure we're doing it so we know what we're doing. So you take the first part here and it's X squared plus Y squared equals C. And you can substitute. All you have to do is C plus 2B is add here. Okay, so you want to start thinking what's going on. Okay, because if that's C, this is really C plus 2B. You can do that or you can just leave it and you go on ahead and you complete your square here. And you've done that because now if you get rid of the square roots, you have X plus Y equals square root of C. Okay, now how are we getting one C here? Because you wanna take a square root times a square root of any variable gets you a C and you get a one. But now it's one C or just or just plain C. And now you can kind of try to start seeing what's going on and solve. You can even start a system of equation and start doing that this. But here's the thing. You'd be subtracting this X term from this X term. So let's do something else. OK, because we don't we don't want to do something that's going to cause the whole equation to go off. OK, um, so this is X plus Y equals one C. And when we get ready to square this, we get X plus Y squared was what we originally had. And if you think about what your square is, X plus Y is X minus Y. And then what happens is you have all of that equals C. Okay, because that's really what this was. So now you're like looking at me and going, why are we like squaring back? We just unsquared. So why are we squaring? But we're doing that so we can see which one belongs here. OK, so now when we factor, we want to make sure that we get the right equation. And we do. We have x squared plus yx. And this is really the same as saying negative xy, which is one of your choices, plus y squared. And all of these equations are part of your answer. So here's the situation. Which one of these parts of the factored square are you going to use to answer your equation. And what you're going to do is uh, you're going to find the value that makes C plus 2 be equitable. And remember, you have a B here, so this would be negative XY because you have to make it positive, right? You have to make this be positive. 
So here's the situation. If it's X plus Y squared, all of the terms are positive. That's what D says. So we're going to scratch D out. And sorry about that. For that simple little rule alone, because not all terms are positive. Okay, C is a possibility. Negative X minus negative Y. Are you guys getting this? That a negative X times a negative X is going to come out positive and that this is kind of going to be the same thing, B. So you want to scratch that. <laughs> I hope you're having fun. And what, what's going on here with this negative 2x? This negative 2x was thrown as a distractor in choice A to make it so that you had this confusing you 2B for this because you most people are going to sit out and do something crazy and start going, let me try to find X, let me try to find Y, when all they're trying to see if you can substitute and get a system of equation. So quite easily, your only possible answer now is this because this is the only one that's going to let you have this negative term. And why do you need this negative term? Because you factored it out. When you factored it, you had X plus Y over X minus Y. And so it was the factored term, and that's what's happening. So we're going to look at one more slide on the back, and then this problem is done and put under. And as much as I'm talking, you spend less time actually solving it if you just start thinking through what's going on. So this is your term. Once again, C is your answer. You're taking out this term, which is minus x, y which is the factor of this x plus y it's actually the same as saying x minus y to get all of this and they're asking you why it equals that and we went over this it has to be the negative term and you're turning this around because c equals 2b so once again you're going to substitute whatever term is c plus 2b has to equal twice the value of b. But twice in this case means doing it two times, which means factor it. Twice means to factor. Twice means to factor so that you get two terms. Because remember over here, you're adding and this is multiplication. So you have to be real careful how you're going to solve those. And then you'd have to go back and substitute this for this. And we have that on the next slide uh, that follows this. But this was supposed to be under five minutes. It's not. It's eight. So this is the easiest way to do it. And then we have the other one for how you substitute, which takes you longer. Thank you for watching.